I don't know about you, but I do know that with the holidays coming up, there are going to be lots of different gifts that I'm going to have to hand out. And sometimes I don't just want it to be another Starbucks card. So as I was wandering through Ikea the other day, which is dangerous and I probably should never do it, I found these absolutely gorgeous hand towels and I thought that is the perfect thing to letter on. Let's dive into today's project, which is a hand lettered tea towel that you can give to someone and it will look like you spent a ton of time and put a ton of thought into their gift, even if you didn't, but they don't need to know that. So the set that I'm using is the, why do I always have to pronounce things? Ooding? Sure, we'll go with that. The Ooding set, and I think it's a new one that they have out. There we go. Keeping this one. And it comes in a set of two tea towels. One of them is this really, really nice print. And then the other, that's the money towel, is a nice plain pink tea towel. And this tea towel has a really cute trim along the bottom, but of course you can do this on any tea towel that you want. Now, usually when you use fabric markers and things like that, they do suggest that you pre-wash the fabric that you're going to be using. But because this isn't um, like a shirt or something that really it's a tea towel, let's be honest, it's going to get stained in all of five minutes. Uh, because of that, I thought, well, how convenient that it has these fold lines in it, and I will just keep those. So I didn't wash it. Of course, if you would like to follow all of the manufacturer's recommendations, please wash your tea towel first. But I hate ironing, so I didn't do it. All right, I have created for you four different tracers that would make for adorable tea towels. So there's eat and enjoy, there's cut, cook, clean, repeat, we have I love you to the fridge and back, and then give us this day our daily bread. And I created these so that they would fit in a seven to eight inch fold area. So that when the tea towel is folded and hanging, that's the part that you'll see the design on. Now I also created them extra large so that if you want to make one that fully fills the tea towel, you can piece it together, just cut the edges off and then uh, tape it along the lines, put it together and you'll be able to use a large scale tracer as your tracer. All right, no more talking. Let's get down to business. You're going to be using the Marvi Uchida fabric markers. Now I tried out how many, four or five different types of fabric markers. These ones had the least bleed in the fabric. There's a little bit, but not a lot. And they stood up to the test of time pretty well. So you also don't need to do any sort of pre-prep to your fabric. You don't need to do any ironing afterwards. All you need to do after you use these is wait 48 hours, that's a lie, 24, before you wash your material. Perfect. I'm going to do the eat and enjoy tracer. And now some of these little lines might be a bit difficult because they are smaller. And I have the, what is this? The regular point. I don't have the super fine nib ones. Those are coming soon, but I'm just going to do my best and see how it turns out. So I have a light table that I'm using. And if you don't have a light table, you can always use a clear plastic lid with a light underneath, which could be as simple as the flashlight on your phone, or you could use um, a locked notes screen on your iPad or some other electronic device so that you have a light source behind your design. You want to take your tea towel and try to center it as nicely as possible with those side fold lines. Of course, it doesn't need to be perfect because everyone's gonna fold it a little bit differently and then we're gonna to start to trace. I'm going to trace from the top down and also from the left hand corner across so that I'm not pulling my hand across anything I've already done. And if you feel like you want to draw it on first before you use the marker, that is an option. You can use pencil, which unfortunately is very tricky to get out of fabric, or you can always use one of these water erasable marker blue pens, which gives you a blue line, but does come off with water. Since I have my light source, I'm just gonna go for it. 
One other thing that you could do is to trace, not trace, tape your tracer onto your tea towel. I'm gonna do these guys with a very light hand so that I can try to just get on the line. Now you're going to want to go slowly for all of this. Try to do nice smooth lines. You want all of your edges of your lines to be really, really smooth. So I prefer to draw the outer lines first and then I'll go back in and color it in. When you're doing this, if your lines vary slightly from the tracer, that is no problem. Over here, my E ended up shifted up just a little bit, but you're not gonna be giving the recipient the tracer as well, so don't worry, no one will even notice. Go through and just do your best to stay on the line, but if you go off, be confident with it and make it your own. That's one of the really nice things about hand lettering is that everyone's looks a little bit different and doing something by hand like this as a gift means that you are going out of your way to take time to create something for someone and who won't love that? As you're going through and coloring in all of your letters and finishing up your design, one thing you want to watch out for is that the downstrokes, so the thick parts where your hand is moving down, are all approximately the same width. So if maybe one of your letters has gotten a little bit extra fat in those downstrokes, then you want to go through and fatten up all of the others as well. It should be relatively consistent and that's what will make it look like a cohesive design. Go through, finish off all your final details, and then I'm gonna turn my light off so I can see my final product. It's looking really, really nice to me, but one thing that I like to do is I like to go over the black lines in the lettering one more time just to set that color and make sure that I don't have any of those areas where the ink hasn't gotten in between the weave of the fiber. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing again just to make it really, really nice and black. You can go and make a whole handful of these at one time, use all of the different tracers, and then you are set with perfect stocking gifts, with perfect hostess gifts, and we all know that they're gonna need a few of those. And this is a quick and easy way to make sure that you have something for everyone on your list. I hope that you enjoy, oh, I'm so lame. I hope that you enjoy your tea towel and that the person that you give it to enjoys it as well. Have a wonderful, creative Christmas. To recap, here is what you are going to need in order to create your perfect hostess gift. You are going to need your set of tracers. You are going to need your fabric marker. You can use either a pencil or a water erasable marker to put a design onto your tea towel. If you're comfortable with a light box, you can always just trace directly onto the tea towel using your fabric markers. Remember that you want to center the design you want to make sure that it is going to be in the hanging area and you want to go over your letters twice to get a nice deep black color. Then you can wrap it all up, include the other tea towel in the set, and head off for your Christmas party.